we are going to work on solving quadratic equations by factoring. The steps. Get everything on one side. Factor it. Then we are going to use the zero product property. And we are going to solve each smaller equation. Now if you need help factoring, you need to refer back to some earlier videos to help you with that. In this video, we are going to concentrate on just solving these equations using factoring. I do want to explain a little bit about the zero product property. What is 8 times 0? Zero? 0. 0 times 3? It is 0. 8 times 0 is 0. So if I tell you that A times B equals 0, what do you know about A or B? Hopefully you are saying that either A will equal 0 or B will equal 0. If I multiply two things, I tell you the product is 0. Then one of the factors must be 0. Let's get to work. Solve x squared plus 3x equals 0. First, make sure this is a quadratic equation. It is. My highest degree is an x squared. So get everything on one side. It's done. Factor it. Well, let's start with the GCF. These terms do have a GCF of x. I will pull the x out, and that will leave x plus 3 in parentheses equals 0. This is an equation. I'm not just factoring. This factoring is part of an equation. So keep pulling down that equals 0. Now look what I have. I have x times x plus 3. And I tell you that it's equal to 0. We use the zero product property. The first term, which happens to be x, will equal 0. The second factor, x plus 3, may equal 0. I need to do a little bit of work to solve this. So x will equal 0, or x will equal negative 3. These are both solutions of this equation, 0 or negative 3. Let's try another one. Solve a squared plus 4a equals 21. Notice the a squared. We do have a quadratic equation. Let's get everything on one side. I will subtract 21 from both sides. Okay, I will now have a squared plus 4a minus 21 equals 0. And now we factor it. This a squared does just have a coefficient of 1. Here are my factors of negative 21. I'm trying to get 4, so I am going to use a negative 3 times positive 7. It is now factored, and look what I have. I have a minus 3 times a plus 7, and I tell you that it's equal to 0. We will use the zero product property. We know that either a minus 3 will equal 0, or a plus 7 will equal 0. Solve each of these smaller equations. a will equal 3, or a will equal negative 7. Those are the solutions to this equation. Let's keep working. Solve r squared plus 14r plus 49 equals 0. This is a quadratic equation. Everything is on one side, and now I need to factor it. So I am looking for the factors of 49, and I am going to choose to use 7 times 7, because when I add 7 and 7, I will get 14r. Let's factor this. Now you may have noticed that this is actually a perfect square trinomial. I could have written r plus 7 squared equals 0. So now we know these two factors are multiplied together. They're equal to 0. Of course, in this case, they are the same thing. Solve this smaller equation. r will equal negative 7. Let's try one more. Solve 2t squared plus 7t equals 15. This is a quadratic equation. I'm going to subtract 15 from both sides. Now, everything is on one side, and I need to factor it. This problem takes a little more effort to factor since I have a coefficient other than 1 in front of the t squared. 
but after a little bit of work, I decide to use 2t minus 3 and t plus 5. Remember, you may need to review your factoring videos in order to solve these quadratic equations. I have 2t minus 3 times t plus 5 equals 0. I know that one of those must equal 0. Now I need to solve each of these smaller equations. I will add 3 to both sides and then I will divide by 2. The equation on the right I will subtract 5 from both sides. My solutions to this quadratic equation are 3 halves and negative 5.